So you want to create some cool game or uh, animation assets in Magica Voxel. Hey guys, welcome back to That's by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Magica Voxel once again, taking a look at creating some assets. We're gonna get started today because we I want to do a couple of things. We're gonna delete on my keyboard to delete all the stuff we don't need. I'm gonna go up to color down here and go to the third palette, by the way, third palette, and we'll select a color. I want to start off with a table. Um, we'll just get a nice little tan color. Something like that, not too saturated, of course. Don't go all the way, because then that looks like just an orange. We need a tan, something really nice and desaturated. Something like that. I'll use the uh, right mouse button to pan around my scene, and uh, and the middle mouse button to just move around like that. <clears throat> Alright, so, with the voxel select tool here, with the V, I'll go to attach, and we'll just click a couple of times here. We'll click once there, move over a little bit, uh, maybe get a table about that big, and then we'll kind of do the same thing over here move out this way and then one right there as well uh, now with all these I want to go ahead and use the faces tool with this which is the F right there and just pull all these uh, faces upwards just maybe that much to make them all the same length uh, about right there looks good sweet now I'll pull this one out one more and then go to voxel attach and then just attach a couple of voxels over there and then we'll just attach all of these right here. And then you can you can guess what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and use the face select tool to pull all this out. About right there. Perfect. Looks like a table to me. Uh, now, I want to do a little bit of shading to this. So we'll go to a different color in the palette. And we'll hold down Alt and drag from that one to the tan. Whew. And then we'll grab the uh, hue and shift that to the left a little bit. Drop the color down. Maybe a little bit of saturation. We'll go to paint on voxel, and we'll paint in a couple of these. That's too pink, so we'll fix it in a second. I'll just paint all those. Uh, less red, more saturation, a little bit darker. Something like that, maybe. Looks good. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so now for the rest of this, I kind of want to pull this table down one. So we'll go ahead and go to face, attach, and we'll attach that same color, but downward instead. And then we'll go ahead and actually... Um, paint the rest of this so we'll go to line tool on that darker color we had there and we'll just kind of paint along the edges there just to connect all of those up looks pretty good like that perfect now on the table part I kind of want to go ahead and make a cool little design like maybe there's a tablecloth on it or something um, so we'll go to another color in the palette down here and I'll choose almost white. So we'll go almost white. We don't want to go solid white ever because it doesn't look too good. So I'll add a little bit of yellow to that. And we'll go somewhere about right there. 235, 233, 218. And we'll just go ahead and go to box select mode on paint. And then we'll just paint in a big giant white uh, rectangle like that. Now for the rest of this, I want to go to the orth orthogonal camera. And go to the top view by hitting the top on the cube right there. Now we can see the exact top, so I can do a nice little pattern without worrying about moving around the scene. Uh, I'll select a new color. This color will be almost red, but we don't want to go solid red with anything. You don't want to go with solid colors because that doesn't look too good. It looks kind of ugly uh, from 100% uh, from, from saturation. doesn't look too good. So we'll desaturate that a little bit. We'll drag it from solid red to a little pinkish, and we'll drop the color down a little bit and, and the saturation down a little bit. Now we have something that looks a bit more... Uh, like this, which looks cool. So I'll go ahead and use the line tool on paint, and we'll just paint in some of these shapes like this to kind of maybe get a maybe a Mexican style table look. I don't know. We'll do something like this. We'll grab a green, same thing. Make sure it's not too saturated. Make sure it's not too bright or dark. We'll skip uh, two white spaces, and we'll do a green like like this. Yeah, maybe. Or, or maybe we'll skip both of those and we'll do a black. So we'll go ahead and make this almost black. A little bit of saturation of blue. Just a little bit. Just ever so slightly. Like that. And we'll skip those two lines. And then we'll put like that. Sure. Looks pretty good. And then we'll skip the two again. And then we'll do the green. Something like that maybe. Yeah, I like it. I like it. And then we'll do the black again for the two. And then we'll have to, be, we'll have to cut that off. But that's fine. Uh, something like that maybe yeah sure okay looks pretty cool um, now for the green and the and the red or the red ish I kind of want to go ahead and, and do a little bit of shading for that so we'll uh, go to a new palette color hold down alt and drag from that color to the green 
Then we'll just drop that color down a little bit, uh, desaturate, drag it to the yellower side. Maybe something like that, maybe a little bit more saturated. A little more saturated, and maybe we'll drag it to the blue instead because the yellow's not working for me. Uh, same thing with the red, so we'll hold down Alt, pull it onto the red, and then we'll drag it to the pinkish purple, desaturate, drop the color down, and we'll paint uh, on there. And now we are not looking good for this guy. So we'll go ahead and pull him more towards the... about right there maybe. And then we'll just darken it and saturate a little bit. Looks good. I like that. Okay, sweet. And for the the darker black color, we'll do the same thing. Alt, drag it on there. And then we'll just lighten this one. And then every... I mean, not every other one, but I guess, I guess it is every other one, yeah. And then every other one, we'll just go ahead and do something like that. Alright, I like it, but... I want to do something uh, kind of silly. So we'll go ahead and grab this uh, selection tool right here and we'll select all these voxels and then go to the move tool and then we'll just move it over. Um, we'll cut the red off a little bit so I can add the, the little tip of the uh, the tip of the white. So we'll go ahead and attach um, this white color with a line. We'll go to select none. So we'll attach that white color back. Oh, attach that white color back. And then we'll select that gray color, go back to paint on voxel, and then we'll just paint that piece right there. So that was bugging me. All right, looks good. Um, now what we could do is actually, let's do that again. Let's, let's actually just extend the table instead of doing that. It's kind of silly. We'll just grab the selection tool. We'll select all of this instead. Then we'll move this out by grabbing that one. And then we will do the same thing, but just uh, the opposite. So we'll add, select none, by the way. We'll add a, oh, no, we'll add a line on attach right there we'll fill all that in nope we'll fill all that in and then we'll darker color piece right there piece right there and then the lighter color again nope piece right there piece right there and then the white and then we'll go back to paint on voxel and then we'll do the gray again so we extended the table by one so now everything's even and nice and good all righty so with that table complete now we'll spend a little bit too much time on that but that's fine i like the way the table looks i do want to do a chair really quickly so we'll go ahead and do that uh like a din like a dinner dining room set i guess we'll we'll call this one today uh we'll add the same type of way we did with the table we'll add some uh, some chair legs We'll go over by three voxels, back by three voxels. Maybe push it under there a little bit and we can go ahead and actually copy, paste, and then just pull it over uh, right there as well. Uh, maybe there. There we go. And then, of course, paste again and we can use the flip tool to flip it on the Y. And then we'll just, nope. Nope, 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 nope. And we'll pull it over like that. Looks good. Looks good. And then, of course, copy, paste, and we'll just pull that one over as well. So now we have four chairs on this table, this glorious, glorious table. We could, of course, shade the uh, chairs as well. We could do a box select paint on the back of this guy, the back of this guy too. On all of these, we can select none, of course, and just do something like that. You know, you can really get creative with it and just shade it how you want to, of course. Just the same way we did the table. Just on all the legs to separate the legs maybe a little bit. Something like that. Just really quickly going through there. That guy right there as well. We could have did this before we duplicated everything uh, as well. If you want to uh, spend less time doing that, that's totally cool. But, uh, but yeah, that's our table dining room set right there. We could also, right at the bottom of these, this table to reinforce it a little bit more maybe. There we go. Looks pretty cool, pretty swanky. Uh, I love it. Looks good. We can also delete these, we can erase these voxels here on the on the chairs to make them a bit more round if you want, so that everything's not square. I like the square style sometimes, but I kind of want to just maybe round out those chairs a little bit. Looks pretty cool. All right, so that is our chair combo kind of thing right there. If I go to rendered, you can see that's what it looks like. Oh, 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 the camera's moving really fast right now. Oh, boy. Uh, there we go. All right, so that is our chair and table combo. I hope you guys and girls enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next one, but until then, bye-bye.